Hey, YouTube Manifest Presents here, and I uh, just wanted to do a quick review on um, the game that just came out. The, um, can't even think of what it's called. Gotham City. It's coming, don't worry. Imposters, there you go. I was like, wait, Gotham City something. Gotham City something. Now let's get started. So Gotham City Imposters is a first-person shooter. Um, you get to customize your own guns, like some of the guns have cool gadgets on it, like uh, they can smell bad guys, um, so you can see them through walls, and you have goggles that can see through walls, you have a glider, you have all this cool stuff, you know, the, the controls are just like Call of Duty, um, and the crazy thing is when I first heard about this game, I thought it was going to be stupid. When I first saw the game, like just saw it, like the pictures and how cartoony it was, I thought it was going to be stupid. When I played it, that's when I actually had fun. It was actually it was it was a really fun game when I played the beta. Um, when I saw the creators play the game, um, I could see that there was a lot more options because I was kind of like, man, there's not that many options um, that I would like on the game, like with costumes and and stuff like that. Because um, you know, if I was a Batman, I wouldn't be running around with shorts and you know, small little cape and like. A weird looking bat symbol that looks like it was sewn together made by like a fifth grader I'm like oh I thought these guys were adults because they're you know they're walking around with assault rifles I would think they're adults and they can make grappling hooks obviously so I'm I'm guessing they're they should be adults you know uh, you know that's that just makes sense but um yeah so that's that's what I thought but then it looks like the costume was made by like by a fifth grader I was like okay okay that's weird but Besides that, it's a really fun game. Um, you know, some people are actually saying it's a lot more fun than Call of Duty. Um, that's just personal opinion. Um, but it has a lot of fun aspects to it. Uh, like right here, I'm using the goggles that see through walls. It helps me, like, you know, I can get an assist or something. Oh, that trampoline really messed up that kill right there. But, um, no, so, yeah, like, um, just like the game itself is is really fun I wouldn't have paid 60 bucks for it when I heard about it and I was like you know what like how they have the you know ultimate Marvel versus Capcom for 40 bucks I would maybe pick it up if I was bored but then I found out the actual price was like 15 or 14.99 I think it's 15.99 that's under 20 bucks that's a great deal I honestly would pick it up you know you could download it on Xbox or PS3 um, I have a PS3 um, because I'm not going to pay for live. Because I'm a casual gamer, you know. As you can see through my shooting skills, I suck. Um, that's a given. That's You can tell by my gameplay I suck. But, no, like, uh, yeah, I'm more of a casual player. You know, I'm not going to pay, like, 50 bucks uh, a year, isn't it? I don't know. I haven't. I have an Xbox. I don't have live on it, though. I just play like, Gears and stuff. But that's not the point. Um, this game is actually really fun. I would highly recommend it for the price. Um, it's a lot of fun, a lot of fun, a lot of fun. Like, I can't stress how much fun it is, because, like, it's a lot of fun. Like, I, I thought it was going to be stupid, and, like, I was going to be upset playing it, because it's like, you know, they ruined they ruined Batman. But playing the game, I was actually like, damn, this is actually really fun. You know, you can either pick between uh, Joker Thugs or, or Batman uh, crew. Um, you can customize how your guy looks. Um, there's a lot of goofy stuff uh, that I, I wouldn't really normally put on the, put in that game just because it's like, you know, like I said, Batman with shorts or Batman with a weird cape or bat, their their back masks all look weird. But you know, I guess it's supposed to be like, hey, this is homemade costumes. But then again, if I made a costume, I wouldn't make it that shitty. But that's just me. You know, I just like to customize stuff like that. But. You know, it's a, it was a fun game, and this is uh, this is where I came in third place, so I just wanted to show this gameplay. Uh, and, you know, I highly recommend it. I definitely think, uh, you know, you get, if you guys have, you know, 20 bucks, you know, you got, you can get a game, and then also, after that, you can get, a, like, a burger or something. You still, you still, you know, you still have money left over. So, um, with that being said, I highly recommend it. Thanks for watching. This is Manifest Presents signing out. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. I was going to go down there, but that's the thumbs up button. So don't forget to subscribe. Thumbs up if you haven't thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed.
Um, you could favorite it if you want. You could share. You can watch it a million times. Whatever you want to do. But thanks for watching. Um, let me know what you guys think about the game. If you played it. If you played the beta. Um, and what stuff would you want that game to have? You know, like I know I wish I would have, they would have Scarecrow, um, Nightwing, because I'm more of a Nightwing. I like Nightwing. You know, Red Robin, Robin Cruz, um, Bane Cruz, because like movies coming out. You know, just a whole bunch of more stuff that they could have done with the game. Well, you know, there's always room for DLC. So, you know, hopefully with people's opinions, we'll see. You know what? what the creators of the game do but um thanks for watching and uh i'm batman the mexican batman what okay <laughs>